Stone Soup, an Old Tale, retold by Helen Lorraine, illustrated by David Wenzel. This is a classic tale. It would be considered traditional literature. It's also a folk tale. Stone Soup. A long time ago, a poor man named Tom was walking from town to town. He had only his clothes and a big pot. Tom had no food, and he was very hungry. But Tom was very clever. One day, Tom walked to a new town. He made a fire and filled his pot with water. Then he put the pot on the fire. Soon, people came to see what Tom was doing. What are you making? they asked. Tom held up a little stone. Stone soup, he said. Then he plopped the stone into the bubbling water. The people laughed. You can't make soup from a stone, they snickered. Yes, I can, said Tom, and he took a whiff of the bubbling water. Doesn't it smell good already? But, Tom said, it will taste even better with carrots. I have only one carrot, said an old man, but I'll put it in the pot. Doesn't the soup smell delicious, Tom asked, but it will taste even better with onions. I only have one onion, said a little girl, but I'll put it in the pot. Doesn't the soup smell wonderful, Tom asked, but it will taste even better with potatoes. We only have one potato, said two sisters, but we'll put it in the pot. More and more people came to see the soup. They added beans and a turnip. Soon everyone was looking at the bubbling soup. If you bring bowls, Tom said, we can all eat. Stone soup can always feed a lot of people. And that's how clever Tom got the people to work together. And that's how he made tasty soup from a little stone. Stone soup. You can make your own stone soup. Start with a nice stone, wash it well, and add your favorite vegetables. Don't eat the stone. Save it for the next pot of soup.